Have you ever wanted to teleport yourself from one location to another? Well, you can with Filmora. Stay tuned to find out how. Today we're going to use some special effects to help us teleport from one location to another location. And let's go ahead and get started. This is Filmora 11. First thing we want to do is right click on the folder and rename it. You always want to label your projects uh, in case you uh, get interrupted and you have a dozen or more projects going at once. You can always just jump right back. Anyway, let's call this AI Teleport. All right, first thing you really want to do before we get into all the crazy effects and everything is figure out your footage. So I will be using Filmora's built-in stock footage, and I've already downloaded a couple here. Uh, but you can just simply do a search and for pixels, uh, maybe go to Unsplash or Pixabay and find some good footage that you're looking for. First thing I like to do is figure out where am I going to? What do I want to go to? Not, not where I'm at, but where do I want to go to? So let's search our uh, extensive downloads folder here and check it. So I want to go, we'll just take defaults for now. I want to go to that tree scene right there with the, with the mist. Okay. I'm also going to drag this up a little bit because of my eyesight and everything. I just like to have this picture, this clip, a little bigger. This does not affect the clip. It only affects what you see right here on the screen. Now... We know where we want to go. We want to go to this forest. Now, where are we now? This is the next one. Now, you can film this in front of a green screen. You can take some of these clips. Um, but my suggestion is, for the next step anyway, for, to make this work better, find a clip that doesn't have too much background stuff in it. You just want the person walking, moving, dancing, whatever your video is going to be. We're going to take the one right here with the girl and her baby. Now I'm gonna click on this button and I'm gonna hide that track for now. I don't wanna see that right this second. Scroll that up a little bit. So now, as you can see, I tried to pick one with not too much footage in it, in the background. Just some just some um, flowers in, a, in an empty field. We're gonna to go to our effects category. We're gonna to go to AI portrait and we're gonna use human segmentation drag it and drop it directly on the clip of the two girls and boom the background is gone we can adjust this a little bit as we go on but right now we're just going to leave it the way it is next up we're going to go back to stock media we're going to grab another the exact same video and we can also do a copy paste but it's if you know where your clip is it's just as easy to do it this way Okay, so that puts it back. So at some point, we're going to cut it out. As I did in my demonstration, probably right about there. And then we want to start to see this background, this tree stuff in the background. So for that, all we got to do is slide it down a little bit. Let's unhide it. Let's see what's going on here. So, so far, the background has not changed for us. If I hide the top clip, you can see they're already in there. But because of the positioning of the clips, one overrides the other. So why did I put this one on the top, you're probably wondering. Well, the answer is to get that effect. I don't want that in the beginning of the video. I want that in the beginning of the video. For the most basic version of that, all we got to do is wham, and she's there. For this demonstration, I'm, I'm not going to go all crazy with it, but you can take this tree scene and you can you can keyframe it, scale it to make it look like it's moving as she moves, to give it a more natural effect. Uh, I did scale her down a little bit, and I positioned her a little lower to make it match. I'm just going to take the whole thing out for you and show you another way. Another way is to have her walk, split this clip, 
go to effects, drop human segmentation just into that half. So that achieves the same thing. So she walks, she's gone. Now I like to do it the other way, the way that I originally did it, because sometimes I'm stacking layers and they don't quite work out the way I want them to. So that way I can adjust all of my clips, all of my tracks, all of my layers individually instead of trying to do a whole bunch of splits. So let's back it up and put it back where it was for now. But I just want to show you an alternate way. And then what I did was um, I simply took this image here. I did a transform, scaled her down just a hair, make it look a little more realistic because she looks really big in this tree. And then I just simply grabbed it and uh, you can position her and the child wherever you want to let them start walking. You can have them walk right off the screen if you want. Uh, we'll put them right there in front of that tree. We'll bring her down so her feet match. We'll do a quick scroll through to see how it looks. Okay. And obviously it would look better if this background tree forest here were scaling slightly, moving slightly. Uh, that's pretty easy to do with a keyframe. We're just That's not part of this video. What I did was very simply use some effects. There's one in trending right now, by the way, it's called edge scale. So we used it, edge scale. It's going to make her flash like so. And then boom, I did a, um, I did a flash there. So under uh, transitions, cinematic, there's this cool little epic shock wave. That's what I used. Go to uh, sample media, sample colors, grab the black, go back to your transitions, grab it, and now you can split it. And the black is not gonna show up. So this just helps us as a, basically a, a place marker. So it's shaken, it flashes, and there she is. And obviously you could keyframe this one to have this red tree background. You can also do some color grading to get you know, these two colors a little closer together. And uh, uh, make sure you go back and watch my other videos. I did uh, I did one on color grading. Anyway, of course, I added music. I added some sound effects, et cetera, et cetera. And you can do whatever you want to do to really spice it up. Uh, Filmora has just thousands and thousands and thousands of transitions, effects, elements. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. Um, and again, AI Portrait actually has 76 effects in here. Now, let's just focus on her for just a second. And I want to go down to where we did the segmentation. I'm going to double click it, the clip. And we're going to go to effect. And there's two things we can change. So I really want you to focus on this girl here. I'm going to take the edge thickness off. Okay, she's gone. I'm going to take it all the way up. Now we can still see the old picture. So you need to find a place where the old picture gets hidden. Like so. But if you need to add a little more to it, you can leave a little extra and then go back to AI portrait stuff and pick one that has a, a ring around it, for example. But in this case, we want to hide the green entirely, right about there. Now, let's see what Edge Feather does. Whoa. See how it gets very blurry here? Well, sometimes you need that blur. That's sharp. So I'm just going to add a tiniest bit of blur to it. And now we'll do it again helps blend it in a little better. There we go. I like that. And I'll just show you one or two of these uh, and you, you guys can uh, play with them later. You can also click on them to see what they do. Let's drop one in. You see the flash? You see the flash? That's like an after image. You can see sort of trailing behind yourself there. If you really want to get crazy with that kind of stuff, you can do a like a clone to write, which is pretty fun. Um, and boom, then she clones out. Now you, they kind of lose the girl in that image. Clone glitch. Anyway, these go on and on and on and on. So that one's pretty fun too. So boom, look at that. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. So that is how you can use AI portrait and all of his crazy effects in here particularly human segmentation, to help you move a person, an object, a thing from one location to another location. It's pretty fun. Uh, I use human segmentation 
all the time. There's all kinds of little tricks you can do with it uh, that are pretty cool. So anyway, thanks for watching. Click the like button, hit the bell for notifications, leave me comments. We'll see you soon on the next video.